Hello everyone, I'm NDL Jamer. Today I'll guide you on how to build Dragonite in the game Pet Program. By now, I think most of you probably already have Dragonite, right? First, if you look at Dragonite's base stats, you'll know to focus on ATK. As for the ability, I think any of them can work depending on your playstyle. Uh, personally, I would choose Multiscale because it helps Dragonite survive better. The higher its survivability, the more time it has to buff. For moves, I'll only cover the free ones. For TMs, feel free to use any good ones you have. The four moves I recommend are Dragon Dance to buff ATK and SPD, Roost to heal and help Dragonite survive longer, Outrage for massive damage, but use it when the opponent has only two or three Pokemon left as it will cause you to be confused after two or three turns. For the last damage dealing move, Extreme Speed is the top choice. But you could also go with Aqua Tail for higher damage or Dragon Rush if you like taking risks as it only has 75% accuracy. For nature, try to get Adamant. It's the best choice since this Pokemon doesn't use special attack. For individual values, IVs, aim for the highest possible, especially in ATK, HP, DEF, and SDF. I'm working towards full 31 IVs myself, but I haven't fully completed this part yet. For base points EVs, focus on ATK to maximize damage. This will make it easier for you to finish off opponents. To help you star up Dragonite faster, here are the locations where you can catch it. There are two spots in the wild and one of them has shiny Dragonite. Follow my guide to find them. If possible, give Dragonite the Apple Held item. It will help it recover HP and survive longer. However, avoid facing Pokemon with control abilities like Sleep Moves or Ice Moves. If you encounter Pokemon with these skills, Dragonite will be helpless, unable to buff or take action. You can obtain the Apple from side missions, so be sure to complete those to get it. All right, now let's check out how I use Dragonite in battle.
Um, that's it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment so I can address them in future content. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to support me. Goodbye.